Dear children, welcome back to the online session of Sri Gogolam Public School, Vadagara. Hi children, good morning to everyone. I hope all of you are fine. Okay, now we are facing the third stage of the spreading of coronavirus. So we have to be so alert. Clear? If one is safe, everyone is safe. If one is not safe, everyone is not safe. Don't forget that. So be stay at home. Clear? Okay. Then now we can continue our lesson ruling the countryside. Did you remember where did we stop the last class? Last class we discussed how did East India Company expand their cultivation. First of all, they collected the revenue from India and gradually they expanded their cultivation in India. Especially the crops they needed, the opium and indigo. In some areas, they forced the peasants to cultivate sugarcane, jute, rice, etc. Do you remember that? But then in 18th century, they faced the lack of sufficient indigo because the other countries... They stop the supply of indigo, especially West Indies and America. Do you remember that? They stop the supply of indigo. So, they turn their attention to India. That we wanted to discuss today's class. Clear? Now, we can start that. Britain turns to India. Clear it? Then, the demand for indigo increased in Europe. What was the main reason? We discussed the last class that due to industrialization, the textile expo, sorry, the textile production, cotton textile production expanded. So there was a high demand for what also the indigo to dye the cloth. Clear it? Then so when they were not getting the sufficient indigo from other countries, they started to cultivate these crops in India. And in India, first of all, they started to cultivate indigo in Bengal. And the Bengal, they cultivated, from Bengal, they cultivated more and more indigo. And Bengal, indigo that dominated the world market. Listen, in 18th century, the indigo cultivation in Bengal that was expanded. And then the Bengal indigo that dominated the world market. Clear it? 1788. Only 30 percent each of the indigo that was imported from India to European countries. But later in the starting of 19th century in 1810, it was increased to 95 percent each. Do you clear? 1788, only 30 percent each of the indigo imported from India to Britain or European countries. But gradually, then in the first half of the 19th century, in 1810, it was increased to how much? Then 95 percentage. That much of indigo the East India Company produced from India. Then by producing this indigo, the East India Company officials and agents of the East India Company, they got more and more Profit. So they started to invest more and more money in the indigo cultivation. And many of the officials, they left their job and they turned to be as the planters. Clear it? The officials, they left their job and they engaged in the indigo cultivation and invested in the indigo cultivation. Later, Many people from Scotland and England, they came to India and they became the planters, indigo planters and they invested money. Those who did not have the money to do the cultivation, they got the loan from East India Company and the banks that was started at that time. Clear it? So, they increased the cultivation in India. Please see the chart. Clearish, then how did they expand their cultivation? Understood? And many officials and agents, they came to India and they became 
planters and they started to invest money in indigo cultivation now then they introduced two methods for the cultivation of indigo that we wanted to discuss now what were the two methods of indigo cultivation first niche cultivation and another method rite cultivation did you clear niche cultivation and rite cultivation first we can discuss the niche cultivation what is meant by niche cultivation or how did they cultivate indigo under this system clear it under this niche cultivation what did the planters do the planters they directly controlled the cultivation they did not maintain any agents or zamindars in between instead of that they directly controlled the cultivation clear they gave advances to the peasants directly and asked them to cultivate listen and then they bought the land from zamindars or they rented the land from zamindars and started the cultivation and they directly controlled the cultivation by hiring the laborers listen they hired the laborers and started the cultivation i hope you understood that what is niche cultivation but this niche cultivation that faced certain problems now we want to discuss what were the problems related to the niche cultivation mainly four problems listen the first problem it was very difficult for the planters to expand their cultivation under this niche cultivation and the second problem then this led to frequent clashes and tension among the persons as well as the east india company officials or the planters clear it and the third they faced the shortage of laborers and the fourth point that is not getting the sufficient bullets and plows to prepare the soil these were the four problems related to the niche cultivation first we can discuss about then the first point that is they faced difficult to expand the indigo cultivation why did they face the difficult or what were the reasons for that we know indigo that was grown in where only the fertile soil only listen the for the growth of indigo what type of soil is needed the fertile soil but this fertile soil that were densely populated so indigo planters they were not getting the vast areas of land for cultivation clear they got small small pieces of land for cultivation but that was not sufficient for them to expand the cultivation so what did they do then they started to lease the land around the indigo factories listen they started to rent the lands around the indigo factories and then they forced the peasants of this areas to vacate from the land this caused for tension and conflicts the conflicts occurred between the planters and indigo peasants when the peasants were forced to vacate the land clear it that was the second problem the third problem that was the shortage of laborers here when the indigo cultivation was going on the same time the farmers they wanted to cultivate the rice also so they were they didn't get the planters didn't get the sufficient laborers the laborers they engaged in the rice cultivation also so not getting the sufficient laborers another problem they faced is the shortage of bullets and plows you know that bullets and plows that needed for the for preparing the soil but that i first i told you that when the indigo cultivation was done the same time rice cultivation was also there so they didn't get the sufficient bullets and plows then one bigger for cultivating 
in one bigga they needed two claws what is meant by bigga then bigga in bengal areas that was considered as one third of an acre listen bigga means one third of an acre then the planters those who had thousand biggas they needed two thousand plows that much of plows they didn't catch because they engaged in the rice cultivation also clear it and the indigo that was grown in what type of the soil did you remember fertile soil only and the indigo it had deep roots so these indigo plants they exhausted the fertility of the soil so after cultivating this indigo not possible for them to use this for any other crops clear it so only 25 percentage of the land areas were cultivated under the niche cultivation under the niche cultivation only 25 percentage of indigo production was done clear it so what did they do they search for another method and they introduced this another method that was rice tea cultivation then what is meant by rice tea cultivation under the rice tea cultivation the planters they forced the peasants to sign the contract or satta s a t t a satta means agreement or contract this contract that was signed by the village headman who signed that the village headman on behalf of the rights then rights means peasants clear it then once they signed the contract they got the advance from the planters clear it then but at the same time if they signed the contract or agreement they wanted to cultivate at least 25 percentage of the land areas what the indigo whatever the land areas they had from the minimum 25 percentage of that land areas they had to use for the cultivation of indigo the remaining areas were only allowed to cultivate the other crops so the peasants they faced certain troubles clear it and the planter they provided the seed as well as the drill and advances for starting the indigo cultivation but the cultivators they prepared the soil and then they started the cultivation sowed the seeds and started the cultivation and looked after the crops clear it we see the chart how did they do the cultivation under rice tea system but this rice tea system that also created certain problems the first the niche cultivation that created more problems to whom the planters but the rice tea cultivation that created problems to the peasants listen then after the indigo harvest listen after harvesting the indigo they wanted to give the indigo to whom to the planters from whom they accepted the advances but they didn't get the sufficient price for their goods so was it possible for them to continue the indigo cultivation without getting the good price no that was not possible so what did they do they were forced to take the loans again so then year by year they became the debtors listen they were forcing to take the loan every year the cycle of loans that never ended clear it then another problem not getting the sufficient price for the products they did the hard work and produced the goods but not getting the sufficient price clear it another problem that first we discuss then the indigo that grown in bare only the fertile soil this causes uh, for the losing the fertility of the soil indigo deep roots the so it exhausted the fertility of the soil and caused for losing the fertility clear it so not able for them to cultivate any other type of crops especially the rice 
these were the problems related to the indigo cultivation or indigo cultivation under under the right tea system did you understand i hope all of you understood please see the chart do you remember what did we discuss today first of all we discussed britain turns to india first of all 30% of indigo only imported from india but 19th century in 1810 it was increased to 95% then most of the company officials they became planters and then they introduced two types of indigo cultivation niche cultivation and right tea cultivation they face certain problems under niche cultivation and under right tea cultivation okay i hope all of you understood don't forget to complete the notes i will send the questions along with this video class so please you have to complete the note and send to me that particular day itself you have one period 40 minutes after seeing the video class that particular period itself you have to complete the notes don't forget that clear it